Well, the Charlie Kirk show is a place we've been checking in on somewhat consistently recently just because of his absolutely incorrect and in some cases, as you're about to see, horrifying responses to mass shootings, to um, the current reality of gun violence that we have in this country. And he brought on Congresswoman Lauren Boebert to have a discussion about this. And all in one segment, they wrapped up so much about what I deeply dislike about American politics um, into one segment. Just complete, I guess the soft term I'll use is incorrect stances being communicated here about gun violence and how we should respond and all of that. And also obvious, out in the open, blatant bigotry against Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and saying that she shouldn't have been allowed into the country. Um, she, of course, immigrated to the United States and is an American citizen. Now, it's just, like I said, so much about what I hate about a part of American politics, which is this type of rhetoric, these types of views. And I'll break it all down after this. Hey everybody, we have Lauren Boebert. I get asked sometimes, Charlie, why do you want stricter immigration? Why do you want an immigration moratorium? Well, because I, I hear people like Elon Omar. Elon Omar is an ingrate. We saved her life as a country. We were generous. And then she comes here to tell us how racist and awful and bigoted and terrible our value. I just want to tell you, hold on to what he says here. She came here to call us all these terms and we were so sweet for letting her come. And then watch the clip that he plays to prove that. Okay. Uh, I've said it before. I try to stay calm. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on this one. Watch the clip that he plays to prove that how dare she come to the United States and do all the blah, blah, blah. values and our customs are. You just got to you, you cannot have an immigration policy that allows people like Elon Omar, who have contempt for the nation, to come in and they refuse to assimilate. Play cut 73. As an American, I'm heartbroken. As a mom, I'm outraged. As a legislator, I am ashamed at the lack of the political will to keep our kids safe from our Republican colleagues. Keep our kids safe from our Republican colleagues. Lauren, your response. Okay, I'll get to my response about this whole clip and I'll play the rest of it in just a second. But quickly there, you see what he did there? She said the lack of political will to keep our children safe from our Republican colleagues, not keep our children safe from our Republican colleagues, the lack of political will from our Republican colleagues. Um, but she said the lack of political will to keep our children safe, the lack of political will from who? Our Republican colleagues is how she finished it. Um, she's not saying like keep kids safe from Republicans. Response. Uh, look, Ilhan has her own um, history that we could dig into. Um, you know, there's a lot of things in my Democrat colleagues that I'm ashamed of um, when it comes to uh, the way our country is being run right now. Um, but, you know, this is another um, fake outrage um, a, 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 in an attempt to strip the rights away from American citizens. And um, I, I agree with you, Charlie, um, on on the immigration and how we, we should not allow people who absolutely hate and despise our country and our values to come in yes. and, uh, and, and be citizens and certainly serve in the United States uh, House of Representatives as a federal legislator. Uh, I mean, this is something um, that is is just a, uh, a slap in the face and Americans are being spit on by her rhetoric and uh, her disregard for our for our country, for our constitution, for the flag that so many men and women have, have died for. So what got her labeled America hater? What got them to say that she shouldn't be allowed to be a U.S. citizen? She's spitting on America. She's opposed to our values. She's advocating for common sense policies that would protect the lives of Americans. And that justifies to them everything you just heard. And it's this appeal to something that I'm getting so enraged with increasingly. This care for, obsession with, and prioritization of the symbol of patriotism over the action of patriotism from people like Lauren Boebert. Where... She'll talk all day about the flag, but not the people the flag represents. She'll talk all day about this vague gesture towards how Ilan Omar's disrespecting something or, or someone based on 
something um, and say that she's spitting on Americans and against our flag so that she doesn't have to address what I see as the action of patriotism, which is caring for, fighting for, wanting to implement policies that benefit the lives of the people the flag represents, Americans. People within the country you're supposed to be patriotic about. If you cared about the country, if you were patriotic, you would actually want to benefit the lives of the people in it. It's really that simple, but clearly not. And instead, Lauren Boebert and many others, Charlie Kirk, side with the uh, distorted, incorrect, historically within this country, somewhat recent in its prevalence, interpretation of the Second Amendment over the lives of Americans. They talk all day long, as we've said many times, about protecting the kids until it comes time to protect the kids. They talk all day long when it's like, uh, we have to demonize LGBTQ people. We have to ban these books. We have to make sure that drag queens can't perform because protecting the kids. We have to call the left groomers for no reason because protecting the kids. And then we say, okay, can we address the leading cause of death for children in this country? No. Nope. Nope. That's not patriotism. Ilan Omar is 100 million times more patriotic because she actually cares about the people in this country and wants to implement common sense policies and doesn't get completely um, derailed by an incorrect interpretation of the Second Amendment. That is patriotism over this symbolic. I'm just woohoo. I'm I'm pro the flag. Great. Great. Also, let's care about the people, too.